Hello, hello everyone. This is April Showers. How is everybody doing this late night? Hope the show finds you in good spirits. If you don't like anything I say, you can keep on moving. If you don't like me, keep on moving. Don't listen to the show. I don't care. I'm not going to lose any sleep. First, I want to make this clear. I don't care about any interviews coming from jail. Until our Kelly speaks and give an interview, then it don't matter. I don't see anybody interviewing any inmates in jail with Harvey Weinstein, mass murderers. Why are we interviewing people about our Kelly? Why? Doesn't matter to me. But I, I just need to understand why are we interviewing people that are talking about R. Kelly and his Chicago trial is about to start? Why? Are they interviewing, let me see, Charles Manson, Harvey Weinstein, people that's in jail with them? Why? Black people, we do the most. I don't care who's in jail with him, who's washing his drawers. I don't care. What I care about is some of these liars. And, of course, we're going to go to this. Lying is not a crime, but people did lie. I want to know when we are going to address the liars that lied about their age to sleep with him after they slept with him. When are they going to talk about that? That's what I want to know. Because that sounds like entrapment to me. But, oh, you know, it's okay. They lied. Then once they told him the truth, then he should have stopped. Well, why did they lie? To sleep with him. Those are things I would like to see discussed. But it brings more jokes. Things to laugh at him. Him about having somebody wash his drawers. They want to talk about rallies. Only one person who was trying to get shipped. Allegedly, they were supposed to have been on lockdown, but he gets attacked. Why Why is all of this stuff coming out now before the Chicago trial? Things that make you go, mm. So the game code in jail is you don't get involved. You look at somebody, get the shit beat out of them, and you don't get involved. Because there is a code due to his charges. Why say that? Why blame it on rallies? People are going to love Robert Sylvester Kelly until the day he dies. They're going to talk about him until the day he dies. I don't care. I mean, it's, it's irrelevant. 
what does him not taking a shower, an Indian washing his clothes, what does that have to do with the Chicago case? Is anybody talking about Chicago? That is coming. So, Bojean has put in motion, which is great. She has put in motion for statutes of limitation. Why isn't anybody talking about the statutes of limitation was changed in Illinois to get the Catholic priests? I don't hear as much news about the Catholic priest, but you sure hear about Robert Sylvester Kelly. I want to know why all of this so-called alleged behavior that allegedly has went on for 30 years, 30 years, and you want to tell me that the government cares about black people and you look at the community and allegedly all this behavior went on for 30 years and it took them 30 years. Man, they can miss me with all of this bullshit. They recycle and recycle everything about our black stars. And we're the worst ones because we sit up, listen to them. The justice system is against people of color for one. The same people that are talking and laughing, I need to know, in Illinois, since there is no statute of limitations, have you went and put charges on the people that are, that molested and abused you? I need to know every person that wants R. Kelly to go to prison. I want to know if they have went downtown in the state of Illinois with, to the court system, whatever county that you live in, and have you went and put charges on past boyfriends, past husbands, past school teachers, past relatives, past cousins, past brothers. Have you went and filed charges on them? That's what I would really like to know. Everybody's got so much to say about R. Kelly and this shit is still going on today. Are you prosecuting the pastors? Are you down there? Are you asking, what about these Catholic priests? What about the Boy Scouts? What about the women that's molesting children? I just don't get it. I have not seen an interview on Harvey Weinstein from a, a ex-prisoner, a person that's a roommate. I ain't seen nobody interview them. 
but we want to laugh and chuckle at Robert Sylvester Kelly. So there's a code in prison. So you mind your own business due to the code. But they don't speak on that. They want to blame it on rallies. There are people at the MCC every day protesting about different injustices. What does who watches draws got to do with anything? What does him taking showers have to do with anything? Robert Sylvester Kelly is in the belly of the beast like Vicki Diller has been, Angela Stanton has been. In the belly of the beast. I just needed to make sense why we're interviewing people. About Robert Sylvester Kelly. But nobody's not interviewing Harvey Weinstein, fellow cellmates, Jeffrey Epstein. Every black person should be in their community making sure this alleged behavior does not happen, but we find joy in laughing and mocking black people. Most people that go in jail or prison for these type of charges are put in protective custody. I, I just need to understand why we can make a joke about him, but we're not joking. We're not finding cellmates of white people that are in jail, Mexican people. Hell, El Chapo's up there in New York, and hell, he didn't escape plenty of times. Where's the interviews of his cellmates? It doesn't matter to me. I'm still going to stand by him. Because that is not the person that I know. And I do know, while people laugh and joke, you need to be careful. Because the same thing that will make you laugh will make you cry. There is no statute of limitation. So these 700 priests, and yes, Google it. Lisa Madigan didn't even want to release half of the name. So you got 700 Catholic priests that are out here that are no longer priests. God knows what they're doing to children. What about the Boy Scout leaders? What about the pastors and churches? What about the teachers in school, men and women? So we're sitting laughing about our Kelly, 
but you got kids out here that are transitioning, say they want to be boys or girls, and no telling what they're doing to your kids. Why do we have to laugh at our people and chuckle? And y'all done set up and fell for what the federal government did told y'all? From the White House to your local politicians, they don't give a damn about black people nor people of color. You look at your neighborhood. There are no community centers, no recreational centers, no after school activities. But we want to laugh and joke about a man in prison. And trust me, everybody has a family member that has been in prison because the laws are designed to throw us in jail or prison. Can we address the liars? No. Lying isn't a crime. Just because lying isn't a crime, we it's okay to lie. It's okay to lie from what I'm gathering. It's okay to lie to a man about your age, have this man sleep with you, and you then tell them the truth. Sounds like blackmail or extortion to me. Then let's not forget about the mamas training the daughters to be madams, call girls. All of this shit starts at home. Nobody's talking about childhood trauma. We all have someone in our family that has been in abusive relationships. Laugh, they done been with them, got their ass beat, went back. We couldn't understand. They said enough is enough. I've worked counseling lines. Ain't no woman going to leave them till they tired. You can go get them an apartment. You can go get everything. They're not going to leave until they're ready to leave. Black culture has been young men, older women. Some older women, young men. Are you talking about your grandparents? But they made it law now. So I need all the law-abiding citizens. I need you all to go downtown to your local courthouses. I need you to find out about all of your your sexual predators and everybody that live in your neighborhood. Since, you know, we, we, we weren't about who washing R. Kelly's draw, he's incarcerated now. What the fuck are you doing about your neighborhoods now?
instead of laughing at Rob, what are you doing in your neighborhood? Do you know if you have any child predators living in your neighborhood? People sit up. You don't want to buy his music anymore, but you sitting up. You pledge allegiance to the flag. You, you, you're you singing the Star Spangled Banner. You're listening to all kind of other music with demonic spirits and forces in it. And this whole damn country was built on a lie. And people still lying. You got a woman that's them been elected to be a Supreme Court judge that can't define a woman. Married to a Caucasian man. And don't get me wrong, whoever you decide to love, you can love. But, but, Y'all cater to the people that don't give a damn about the black community. Everybody can't be bought. Some people do have morals and values. Some people have morals and values. You got a lot of parents that's getting up every morning, making sure their kids eat. They're walking their kids to, ch to school. You got some good parents out here doing the damn thing. But you're mocking somebody that's in jail now and you don't even know who's reading books to your children's in classrooms. Who's telling them to get, get body injections. You got 14, 15 year old kids saying they want to be a boy or a girl. And God, when you was born, you was a male or a female. But we're allowing kids to transition. We're allowing them to make a decision about their sexuality. How soon will it be before I got to hear Dwayne Wade's child was out here abusing kids. Because they use us for their agendas. And then they're going to throw us away like we ain't shit. I don't care for Indian or white or Hispanic. I don't care who watching who draws in prison. I don't care about some man that wanted to get transferred. I don't want to care about a man who who did a violation in such a smooth way and then blamed it on rallies. You people so smart, but yet you so dumb. You can't even see the bigger picture. Like, I have not seen an interview 
on Harvey Weinstein cellmate. Jeffrey Epstein, who I believe is living on the island, but y'all want to believe he's dead. Where are these interviews at? But no, no, no. Us black people, we want to talk about all our own. Can we talk about his childhood trauma? But oh, we all get psychiatry degrees. We're psychiatrists. We're mental health professionals. We can talk about what he should have did, what he didn't do. You not him. I pray for him all involved. Because I look at a girl that was trained to lie who probably will never get a story straight. Any child under the age of 18 in different states is 16 you can marry, 17, but they're making life-altering decisions, and because lying is not a crime. We say, oh, everybody told lies. Everybody got fake IDs. Hell yeah, I did the same shit. But I ain't cost nobody to look at life in jail. Prison for the rest of their life due to a lie. So we're saying it's okay to lie. What if nobody didn't lie? But they lied. Why did you why would you have to lie about your age to be with the older man? And which some of them did. And then you tell them the freaking truth. We want to say they should have stopped. Well, y'all do. I'm trying to figure out why did they lie? Oh, it's not a crime to lie. So the parents can walk around here, tell their story. The victim can tell the story because she's been trained to lie. And ain't nobody talking about that shit. Sound to me, you still wanted to start in blackmail to me. So you lied, you lied about your age to get a man to fuck you, sleep with you, a rich man. And what does that sound like to me? Entrapment? You want money. So I don't give a damn about what nobody that said. Being in jail with him what he didn't do, what he is doing. I'm more concerned about his childhood trauma. And ain't none of y'all no damn psychiatrists, no mental health professions. And if you knew anything about mental health, most people that's got issues they ain't going to say they had issues. But we giving everybody passes because, you know, the laws. Go to the beginning to me. Now, I'm, I, you know, I don't, I don't even know. 
and I don't care. But I know, yes, I got a fake ID. I know I didn't fuck a man. Lied about my age to get him to sleep with me. My mama didn't tell me to shimmy, shimmy, cozy up, make somebody want me sexually. My mother didn't teach me how to be a whore. To get a rich man. But it's a joke to everybody. He's in the belly of the beast. Due to Demetrius Smith. Oh, he's confessed. I raised him wrong. I did this. We did this. I trained him. I taught him the wrong things. And mama's all in the kitchen. Everybody was fucking happy. All of y'all that don't like him, that's why their mamas was happy. Cooking food, cooking breakfasts, taking money, getting rent paid. Playing on the weakness. And then you people, y'all sit up and laugh and think this shit is funny. This ain't funny. Because you still got lying parents now training their daughters to be fucking whores and prostitutes. You still got people that don't give a damn who is being whored out, pimped out, long as they get in the cut. Alice Bishop Don Clary. Michelle Kramer. All of these women. Y'all knew where y'all kids was at. What they was doing. But you know, there's no laws against parents. So you can't protect the kids because there's no laws against the parents. But then you got DCFS that'll go in and swoop and take a kid out because a dirty person want to sit around and say, oh, the parent ain't feeding the kid. Oh, the parent them beat their ass. But you ain't got DCFS taking kids out of homes where the parents horn their kids out. Make that make sense to me. Children and family services will come get a kid faster from a friend or a neighbor call. Oh, they're not eating. They're feeding. They look thin. But they ain't going to do shit. Shit when they find out a parent and whore their kid out. Prostituted their daughter. Because certainly 
Those children was not in school over all of these years. Hell, they was arrested parents if their children didn't come to school. This whole case is fucked up. But he should have stopped. Once he found out their ages, he should have stopped. Well, they shouldn't have lied. They shouldn't have lied to fuck him. You lied and fucked him. That was entrapment. What you going to do when it's your son? Or your daughter? What you going to do then? I bet you them girls, if they won't be victims then, They'll be everything but a fucking child to God if it was your child. But we all told white lies. Yeah. We told white lies. Did any of you ladies tell a white lie? Fuck a man, lie about your age? Your parents went downtown? Did you tell the truth? Mama, I lied? Oh, that's right. Mama was in on it. Let's start with parents that just didn't give a fuck about their damn kids. How in the fuck somebody going to go work for somebody and they done fucking been with their girl allegedly on a videotape? We want the courts to throw a man in jail because it's the law and shit parents was going along with. Parents going along with their kids transitioning. Hell, you going against nature and God. When a kid was born, they was a boy or girl. But you supporting them transitioning. But you want to throw somebody in jail. Because they kids and lied about their age. I understand girls starstruck. You want to be around the world's greatest, the king of R&B. Money looks good. You going shopping. They're giving you shit your parents can't give you. Then the minute you get your ass beat, then it's a different story. Or you find out your pussy ain't the best pussy. He got other bitches. This happens every day in the black community. Hell, the drug dealers got four or five women taking care of all of them. And you glorifying the drug dealers. Some of these girls going to coming down here to Joliet, Illinois to Stateville every damn week. They ain't missing a visit coming down here. Them women go in that visiting room. They bringing their kids down. They catch, catch that damn bus from Chicago. Some women got that type of, of, of love 
for their man. Some of them going to stand by their man no matter what. It ain't the man's fault. Most, most men, when they go to prison, most women like, fuck them. They're looking for the next big thing. The next man to take care of their ass. Some women just got that type of love, too, for a man. They're going to stick by him through thick and thin. That don't mean they brainwashed. And y'all, I don't know y'all got somebody in y'all family that's been incarcerated. Half of y'all got some incarcerated now. Some of y'all got relatives going to the prisons every week, making sure they damn, they got money on their books. They can call y'all. But since it's R. Kelly, everything is funny. And the girls is brainwashed. God, I ain't never seen such hypocrites in my life. Some of y'all got niggas y'all done went to go visit every week in prison. Made sure they could call y'all. Was you brainwashed or was you just in love? The belly of the beast. Vicky Dillard was in the belly of the beast. Angela Statton. Powerful women that got caught up in the belly of the beast and came out trying to help black people. Sometimes God can see better in you than you see yourself. And he humbles you. That's my rant. I don't give a damn what's going on down there. I, I'm questioned in the timing. Why now the Chicago trial is getting ready to start? I don't I don't care. I don't care who watches his draws. None of that's important. What's important to me is those damn motions. See Statues of Limitation was put in place in Illinois for Catholic priests. 700 of them. Where me too at? Where time's up at? I'm sure some of these parents or their kids that was molested by these Catholic priests, I'm sure they were tired. But, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they were able to pay them. See, they were able to get settlement. They, you know, they handled everything with, with money. With money. With the money. I'm pretty sure them Catholic priests took them, them boys Forgot what they call them. The ones that. Uh, I forgot what their duties was. 
Hell, I'm pretty sure they took them to different places with them. What about the damn Boy Scouts? What did they do to the Boy Scouts? Settled? Paid money? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Because the Catholic priests and the Boy Scouts got way more victims than R. Kelly I ever had. Where they at? They were able to settle. But we laughing. We making a mockery. Why mock about shit you know that happens in prison? Allegedly. Because I know some say they was never touched there. Couldn't it be an honor to watch the king of iron be clothed? But we'll dog out our own in a minute. Who's going? Who has went downtown and pressed charges on the touchy touchy uncle? The touchy touchy brother. Throw their ass in jail too. They criminals, right? They did something wrong. Where they at? Where that uncle at? Where that brother? Where that cousin? Where that neighbor at? Did you go downtown and press charges? Did you tell, you forgave your relatives, but you want to see R. Kelly rotten in hell? I'm going to tell y'all what you wish on somebody else. Be careful, don't end up at your doorstep because God will humble you. Again, I pray for everybody involved. Some things we don't ask for in life. We didn't ask for a whole lot of things we got handed in life. But if you're going to fix them, start at home. Before you can fix anybody else, fix your shit at home. This is April showers. Everybody have a great night. If you can forgive your mama for not protecting you, you can forgive all these other people who you say didn't protect you, but you want to see R. Kelly go to jail, you full of shit. April showers, I'm out. Well, Facebook user, they're going to, um, you know, even on the stand, you know, you, you, you had these girls that was going back for, for the, um, for the money. 
you know, for the money. Money. The money. That's the sad part. They went back for the money. They went back to go get purses. You know, the parents got taken care of. That's why you have a lot of having panic attacks. They don't want to get on that stand and say, you know, he took care of me, my mama, everybody. Then they talking about Chicago coming up. I'm going to be hurt and disappointed. No. I'm mad about allegedly if all of this shit was supposed to have been happening. Happened, I want to know why he's still living. Because I don't know too many black, too many black men. I don't give a damn if people die, Kelly, whatever other names y'all want to call him. And you had my daughter as a hostage. Most people I know would have killed his ass. Shot at him or something. No questions asked. They show sure wouldn't have worked with him for years, nor took money. But you know, it's no crime. The parents are who they are. You were more worried about your image getting money. Hey, if somebody was getting paid five thousand dollars a month, that's sixty some thousand dollars a year. No doors, but mentally, mentally. I had to sit back and think, oh my God, I used to go up there to to Olympia Fields to that house. Hell, I ain't never seen no girls run out of no house. Talking about freedom, we slaves, we can't eat, I'm hungry. If you can forgive your parents, your mother and them for not protecting you enough, then you shouldn't be talking about crucified as man. Because I'm going to tell you, if man would have been anywhere, guns would have been pulled, a bulldozer and everything else. But you pussyfooted around because you was lying. You didn't get what you wanted. But you know, there's no crime against lying. Remember, we've all told white lies. But I certainly hope None of you told white lies that a man or a woman is spending the rest of their lives in jail. Or they were murdered. So Carol Bryant told a lie. Everybody's okay with that. With Carol Bryant telling a lie, Emmett Till got killed. She's not arrested. She hasn't been arrested. Folks that got on documentary, Lifetime, people that believed him, felt sorry for them. And it's been a whole fucking lie. 
but since there's no crime, you know, it's no crime about lying. No crime. So you girls, you go out, or you boys, y'all keep going out, lying on people, and see where that's going to get you. Hey, Ty, I'm just having a rant. There are certain codes in prison. They don't want to address the codes. They didn't do it. You got the guy saying, well, hey, I wasn't going to get involved. That was the code. But instead of saying we violated him because of the code, he got his ass beat. They want to blame it on Riley. Make it make sense. But you know, y'all so smart. <laughs> Everybody's so smart. Y'all so smart. There are codes. The guy said it. Due to his charges, he couldn't get involved. He wasn't going to get involved. So he got his ass beat due to a, the violation, the code, that all gangs follow. But they don't talk, they don't say that. It's it's easier to blame it on, on the rallies. That was my take from all of that bullshit. And I ain't gonna never dismiss anybody. I'm pretty sure people got all kinds of stories to tell. But again, like I say. Why ain't I hearing about Harvey Weinstein cellmates, Charles Manson cellmates, a Catholic priest cellmate, a Boy Scout cellmate, a family preacher cellmate? Those top stories, too. But we'll laugh and we'll mock and we'll think that shit is funny with our own. Where is the creepy Uncle Joe that's in prison? Where is his stalemate? Until we start at the root of a problem, which begins at home, from everybody involved in this sad saga, because it's truly a sad saga, and it touches on everything in the black community. People need to still start keeping shit real too. Hey, Atmos. They need to start keeping shit real. This shit started at home. It started in his home. It started in the girl's home. Girls taught to be whores and prostitutes. 
girls violated, molested. Boys violated, molested. Start at the root of this problem. So we can all move forward and fix this. Try to fix it. Because the shit ain't went nowhere. It's still going on. You see that with nature, boy. Nobody can have a decent conversation. I don't want to hear not one soul tell me. It's okay. Everybody told lies. Yep, I told a lot of them. I had a fake ID. But a man sure ain't looking at life in prison. My parents didn't get on life time and tell story after story. And that poor girl, she said her parents beat her. She was trained to lie. Hell, she probably don't even realize she was lying. There are codes in prison. Violations. And with those type of charges, that's what's going to happen. So don't tell me shit about a fucking rally. And he did it so smooth. Blamed it on rallies. But y'all so smart, yet intelligent. Okay. And then got transferred to where he wanted to go. <laughs> the brother man told you he wasn't going to get involved. That's the code. That's the code. Everybody know what they do to people with those type of charges. Y'all know. But you don't want to hear that. You rather, you, you know, they're going to put the narrative out. The other guy, Hollywood, because they was on lockdown. He had not been found guilty. Limited movement. No movement. The inmate carried out the fucking code. Fucking idiots. And if you knew anything about gangs and prison, there are codes and certain things they're going to do to your ass with certain charges. Miss me with the bullshit, the laughter, the lies. So everybody have a nice day. That was my say so on it. Um, I'm not going to dispute anybody, say they are lying, but I know what was happening during that certain time. I worked in the prison. I know what codes are. I know what 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 inmates are going to be attacked with what charges. I know what violations that inmates are going to get their ass beat for. That man didn't care that that was his brother. He wasn't getting involved. It was the damn code. That's what happens with those type of charges. 
But oops, oh yeah, that's right. I was born yesterday. So if you know anything about gangs and bylaws, you already know that. And I shouldn't even have to be saying it. You go to prison for certain charges, your ass gonna get fucked up. Everybody have a great night. Peace out. Love you all. April showers. I stand by what I said. Everybody have a great night. Hey, oh, well, you know what? Hold on. Hey, K. Judah. Hey, Murder. Hey, T.Y. Hey, Atmos. Hey, Facebook user. Pan. R. Kelly Appeal, Miss Lady T, Together We Break the Chain, Purple Purple, Takara, Carla, um, Hey K. Judah, I was trying to educate the people. Well, they ain't that dumb. You know, you, you, you had to let people think you dumb. When you go to prison on certain charges, you just gonna get got. That's all it is to it. <laughs> but you know, they seem to forget. They had two people interview. One said the rallies had an effect, but they were on lockdown. But you know, the guy carried out his mission, and he carried it out in such a smooth way. <laughs> so, Lord knows what else is happening, going on in there. But I don't want to know. I, if, if you can't interview Harvey Weinstein's cellmate, ex-cellmate, I don't want to hear about R. Kelly. Why we got to just drag our brothers and sisters? I ain't hearing about no teachers. I ain't even hearing about the cop killers. The the the, the, the cop killers that here that 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 kill black folks. They ain't even interviewing them. So y'all full of shit. Go interview white people like you do black people. And I'm out.